the gentleman said, thank you for making clear you'd be an evolutionist uh, without saying there's no God. There's another guy who made that clear too, and that was Charles Darwin. Um, and Darwin um, got many letters saying, why don't you come out against God? Why don't you attack religion? You've done away with the need for God. And in one letter, and I can almost quote it exactly, um, Darwin wrote back and he said to his correspondent who had asked him to take a position against religion, he said, I do not doubt for a moment that a person can be, Darwin's words, an ardent theist and a, uh, an evolutionist at the same time. And then he noted, my most prominent scientific colleague and supporter in the United States, the Harvard botanist Asa Gray, is in fact a devout Presbyterian and has written extensively on what he regarded as the harmony between science and religion. So Darwin said, even though I'm not a religious person, other evolutionists like Professor Gray are, and you should take your cue from that. So thank you, but I'm in a long tradition in that respect. <laughs>